President Biden was on the defensive after a special counsel report depicted his memory as, quote, poor and claimed he could not remember key life events. And that report came after the special counsel decided not to prosecute the president over his handling of classified materials. CBS News correspondent Michael George reports. After a year-long investigation, special counsel Robert Hur decided not to bring charges against President Biden over his handling of classified materials, which were found at his Delaware home and at his former D.C. office. But in his scathing 345-page report, Hur wrote that the president's actions posed, quote, serious risks to national security. He also added that if charged, Mr. Biden would likely present himself to the jury as a sympathetic, well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. The matter is now closed. Biden fired back from the White House last night. My memory is fine. The special counsel claimed that during the president's five-hour interview, he, quote, did not remember when he was vice president or when his son, Bo, died. How in the hell dare he raise that? I don't need anyone to remind me when he passed away. Former President Trump, who faces federal charges regarding his own handling of classified documents, slammed the decision not to charge Biden as, quote, a two-tiered system of justice and selective prosecution. Yesterday, President Biden also took questions on the Israel-Hamas conflict. The response in, Gaza, in the Gaza Strip has been um, over the top. At one point, he referred to the leader of Egypt as the president of Mexico while leveling sharp criticism at Israel. Michael George, CBS News. Several Republicans have seized on the special counsel's comments regarding the president's memory. GOP presidential candidate Nikki Haley reiterated calls for President Biden to take a mental competency test in a post on X.